Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend DG Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrish, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. I'm here for Peter. Flip, flip, people! The last Peter Lowe's Hellfire is going to get for a while till October. <laughs> <laughs> That's bold of you to assume, but okay. Well, I meant on the podcast. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Spider Cast. I am Phil. Joining me as always, that Peter lover herself. It is. Hey, y'all. It's a little flipping hellfire, and that's Peter Parker. <gasps> you're going to cheat on me and do another Spider Man podcast while you're <laughs> Miles Morales Mania! <laughs> that's what we should have did. Oh, for one of the shows, I should have just, you know, you just sent me in random episodes to just put up that month. <gasps> Or, or just splice them together. Meanwhile, in the Mexican desert. <laughs> <sighs> in an undisclosed location in the in the Mexican desert. Meanwhile, s- sitting under a blaring sun, drunk off tequila. <laughs> drunk off her ass. The armadillos are carrying her home. <laughs> What's going on with this Miles Morales book? <laughs> yeah, right. Sad tears. <laughs> maybe that'll hey, maybe now you'll feel something, you know. Again, pure tequila and the hot sun, maybe you'll finally feel something. <laughs> maybe you'll finally feel something a little far. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Nausea. <laughs> Never. Vomit free since 2003. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't eat them black and white cookies. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not now. <laughs> or the or uh, the hair on your uh, cinnamon babka. The most elusive of all, cinnamon babka. Here's your damn babka. <laughs> Give me that raw, you old bag. <laughs> all right, kids. So to kind of wrap up our She-Hulk month, uh, because the sausage fest. Well. <sighs> It's a weird ter- it's a weird time, kids. Next week, yes, it'll be a regularly scheduled Sausage Fest, but that'll be the first of five weeks where it'll pretty much be a Sausage Fest here on Ultimate Spider-Cast. So. That's so much meat, man. <laughs> it's a drop! There's a drop. You know what? And at least two and at least two-fifths of that will be Ray. Because he's the s- 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 Sausage King! And Charlie will be like three-fifths of that. It's a lot of meat. Uh, sausage. Forget this. Forget this Spider-Man issues, kids. We're just gonna talk about Ray for the next hour. The hard master. <laughs> All right. Speaking now. of the hard master. <laughs> hey, oh. Are you talking about Spider-Man, Kirkman? Yeah. Hey, He's either old. hard up or just hard. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out what 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 his situation is for this issue. All right, kids. So. It's kind of, sort of, I mean, it's a Spider-Man, Spider-Man issues with She-Hulk, but you're also getting a guest stars galore from Marvel Team-Up, 11 through 13. Uh, it's uh, a Marvel Team-Up kit. What are you expecting? I know, but this is an ultimate, that's no, not ultimate, but it's a big Marvel Team-Up. But yeah, so this one starts with uh, Marvel Team-Up number 11 from, love when they hide the uh, cover date. Uh October 2005. Uh, the tit- <laughs> the Titanus War Part One. <laughs> Lilith, look at that word. Cut, cut it up. Maybe lose a letter. Yeah. Is Kirkman messing with us? <laughs> well, I mean, Kirkman is Kirkman. Yeah. Because kids, T I T A N N U S. I think they made them add the extra in just, just, just cause. Yes. They're like, what do you think you're doing, buddy? It's not a soft park, see? <laughs> All 
Oh my god, did you watch the concert? Not yet. I recorded it because yeah, because we were watching football, but uh, I watched most of it. I think I got like a half hour left, but <laughs> <laughs> it's basically them just like singing songs from South Park. <laughs> but it's funny <laughs> just to watch Trey Parker sit there at the piano, just do like Mr. Mackey and stuff. I'm like, okay, <laughs> jokes are bad, okay. <laughs> team up with Paco Medina a lot? Um, Because I feel like the answer is no. I don't think, well, again, I mean, most of his works, you know, probably from Walking Dead where he worked with, like, the same, like, two artists or Invincible. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I don't think. Um, Because, yes, this one's right. Robert Kirkman, writer, of course. Yes, The Walking Dead Robert Kirkman. uh, Invincible Robert Kirkman. Penciler, Paco Medina, uh, Inker, Juan Velasco, Colorist Studio F, Letterer, Virtual Calligraphy, and Corey. Ah, yes, the mid 2000s where they were employing digital studios to do yeah. a lot of stuff for no reason, just to tinker around and see if they could get rid of artists and letters. If you thought this stuff. thing was easy to put together, your four editors, Tom Brevoort, Andy Schmidt, Aubrey Sitterson, and Molly Laser. You know, honestly, I only know Tom. Yeah, me I can too. Only speak to Tom. So. Me too. Unless he was training some people, who knows? <laughs> we had we had three interns. Oh, editing. this is the well. Okay, for those of you that don't know this, these three covers, uh, they yeah, they all basically fold up, uh, fold. They kind of morph into one. They're supposed to morph into one. Oh, yeah, they're inter- they're connected. Yeah, I hate that. Super connected. Seriously, I was just like cash. They're like just to make sure that you buy all three because yeah. it gets a little weird. Can I <laughs> can I tell you that son of a bitch has me trained? Because like anytime I put on like my wireless earbuds now, like it'll say you know they automatically go connected, and I'll go super connected. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like son of a bitch, gets me trained. All right, so now we know why super or no. activity got switched no. over to Avengers Declassified. I think you have me trained because anytime anyone says connected, you go super connected. <laughs> do, 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 do. That makes more sense. <laughs> All right, so Doctor Str- okay, yes, kids. Uh, Doctor Strange is at his home medit- meditating when in he- the inner sanctum of something. Medi- <laughs> meditating or some m word uh uh when when he suddenly senses something that causes him to collapse no no more free love uh wong rushes in to help and strange declared that it is a time for action meanwhile spider-man is swinging through the city talking to himself as usual can can i just ask a question real quick I, i mean honestly rhino is a chump like really, like he he he's the he's the bad guy, well one of the bad guys. But like, come on, he's a clown. Well, again, it's one of these guys that's like, yeah, they're super strong and they're unstoppable unless you like get them off the ground or something. You know, <laughs> yeah. You either get them off the ground or you contain them in something where they can't move. Ugh. Anywho. Uh, uh, this makes me think maybe Spider Man should be the guy who like breaks the fourth wall. What do you think? on occasion yeah true. Sort of, so. yeah but that's because deadpool is a bad influence on him <laughs> yeah meanwhile spider-man is swinging through the city talking to himself when nova accidentally snaps his web line and catches him Ugh. richard Ryder. <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh mm-hmm. how do you get dick out of richard yeah it's nicely of course <laughs> every time i'm gonna say it every time I'm like, was someone not thinking when they came up? No, with they the were thinking. Or were they thinking? Oh God! It's, it, it's a little bit of a slow burn, but they, you, you, you get there. But no, worst of all, Richard Ryder. <laughs> because if I was creating a character, the first thing in my mind would be like, "What's the name?" Hmm, I can't use the Richard Ryder because you know what people are gonna say. So. I told you, Rod Thruster. <laughs> he has like a human rocket. That should have been his name. <laughs> Uh, after... It only my best friend from high school understands that. <laughs> wow. No, so okay, so in high school, um, like for picture day one time, one of our friends got a fake ID and they they got the they actually got the ID back and they used Rod Thruster. So that's that's the whole joke. 
What's the what what's the matter? Their first idea was already taken by the movie McLovin. <laughs> hmm. I don't think that was out yet. But oh. yeah. But no, like yeah, I was like, it's just a joke. Cause we were, I was like, oh, that's like the worst porn name. <laughs> like I want a fake ID with that name. And then they literally tried to like <laughs> I was like, you can't take that to the freaking DMV, you'll get arrested. <laughs> we live in a post 9-11 world. It's not a funny joke anymore. Don't do it. <laughs> Is that a worse porn name or Buck Naked? No, that's classic. That's perfect. <laughs> Buck Naked. Yeah, you told me that. <laughs> uh, after commenting on how uncomfortable armpitting was, hey, <laughs> whatever you're into, <laughs> no kink shaming. Oh my god. Uh, we're doing me now. But that just means that he's a bottom. No, no, no judgments. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, they team up and defeat Rhino. The two oh, big, big win for you. <laughs> Your mom must be so proud. Damn. Somebody call Shocker and freaking Scorpion next. Just get out of here. You brag about that? Next thing you know, he'll be uh, to regaling us with tales of his defeat of uh, the Rocket the Racer. The Vulture. The yeah, Rocket exactly. Racer. Oh, oh. The vulture. Yeah, I pummeled him. Well, you should have. He's a thousand. Wow. Osteoporosis. Good for you, Spider-Man. I really lit into that Electro. <laughs> now, Electro, he can hold his own. We all know that. Hey, oh, it usually does. Throw on here. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> all right. That's enough of the dick joke portion of this podcast. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Uh, the, the two start to talk on a rooftop when they are contacted by the astral form of Doctor Strange and are they told got to two of those letters right? Come to his <laughs> the ass... all these extra <laughs> letters in here. The ass form of Doctor Strange. That's just his normal form. You know that astral form does look like he. Oh, oh what if he had to fart out his astral form? This is not South Park's the loop. Save it for the salty and the petty show. <laughs> oh, theories. <laughs> the theories portion uh elsewhere she hulk and miss marvel meaning carol danvers are contacted by dr strange as well thanks for crushing everybody else's hopes <laughs> what thanks for crushing everybody else well, you could have just gave them a little more hope you didn't have to be specific i know i know but it's two two th if you know you know it's two thousand yeah, you know if you know but they didn't they didn't you didn't have to crush them like that yeah but then he'd be like well, why is why is she hulk uh in a bar with a minor playing pool <laughs> Tony Stark rubbed off on her. Bad life decision. Hey oh and half the females in the Marvel universe. Hey oh <laughs> You know, you know. <laughs> it's canon in the comics. He slept with Gamora. All right. Uh Miss Ma and Miss Marvel flies She Hulk there, so they armpit. Uh when all four arrive at Strange's home, they talk about armpitting being uncomfortable. <laughs> Shut up, though. <laughs> before Bruce Banner appears, before Bruce Banner appears, and Strange teleports them to Japan to confront the mysterious enemy, Titanus. I'm not gonna say that anus one. made of titanium. Yes, <laughs> Titanus. Uh, Titanus. Oh, but, but but he's fighting Wolverine, so that's gonna be a that's gonna Bub. be awkward. <laughs> Titanus immediately confront confronts them but is attacked by wolverine wolverine you know making one of his many trips to japan if you know you know yeah wait is wolverine a weebo hold on he likes geishas <laughs> he likes a lot of things <laughs> he's lived forever so he's tried everything no oh and i do mean everything you saw that throuple right two redheads Cyclops is not a redhead. He's red-eyed, but not a redhead. No, he's a redhead. Oh, is he? Are you going to tell me? Strawberry blonde? That's what you're telling me? Oh, okay. Okay. He's it's seen, not brown. Are you, say, are you saying he was seeing red? Because his brother is blonde, so he would never have brown hair. That's why he's a strawberry blonde, a.k.a. A, real, a redhead. Okay. Oh, my God. That's the, that's the next... Wait a minute. Vulcan has black hair. Well, well... I won't. I hate to break it to you. 
Oh my god, that's the new, that's the new conspiracy. Every one of those Summers brothers has a different mother because you know Corsair. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even before he left the planet. Come on. Papa was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> Wolverine is quickly defeated and explains he has been there for a while saving people. Banner turns into the Hulk, who is too severely beaten by Titanus. Titanus declares he only wants to talk, and they decide to listen to his story. What? I just destroyed a major city, but hey, let's sit down and talk to this guy. Villain monologuing? Ugh. Villain's got a monologue. I mean, I guess maybe they they decided to talk to him to buy some time because I mean, again, he did the, he has the power to destroy a whole city, but well, we got two extra issues to kill. Why not? Kirkman should have made the joke. Should have Spider Man, but like you know what? I used to deal with these uh, omnipotent godlike beings. I'll I'll teach him how to use the toilet. There's your Secret Wars two joke, Charlie Asher. You're welcome. <sighs> God, I don't you know we have to do that one day with him. Oh god. Not this year. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh as long as you don't have to go drag and pour a little little hell fire into it. It's all good. <laughs> as as uh, I don't have to do secret wars. I don't care. <laughs> it was like I don't either know. one of them I don't want to do. Hey, hey, after Secret Wars, the first one, we're gonna be doing two months of Captain America if you want to send in feedback. Oh, I will. Who, oh, okay. I'll wait, wait, wait. Who's 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 the writer for those Captain America issues? There's a. I, I tried to hit a few eras. I mean, there's some. You know, Roger Stern, JMD Mateus, Mark Grunewald, Mark Wade. I do the JMD Mateus stuff. Oh, okay, wow. okay. Just let she's me. Like, I, she's like, I, she's like, I want me some Bernie. <laughs> oh yeah, that is the Bernie era, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Did you did you know did you know before she became a lawyer she was working as a <clears throat> glass blower? No, I actually did not remember that fact. Uh huh. Interesting. So she blows uh, hot air. Mister Rogers, I see you. <laughs> you gotta have those little subtle jokes. You gotta have them. All right. So should we get to the next one? Let's do it. The secret. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so yes, Marvel team up number twelve. Uh, okay, but I still don't know how that cover connects because the art. Never mind, I'm not gonna think about it. I'm not. Gonna well, it's think like about the characters it. are on either. Was it the characters are like on either either side of them? And yeah, but where the arm is, like honestly, when you line it up, it's a little off. I, I, not to be nitpicky. <laughs> Two thousand five, Lilith. That's what you get for going with a digital artist instead of a regular one. The nineties could have pulled it off. Two thousand five ain't pulling that off. Yeah. All right, so yeah, Marvel team up number 12 from November 2005. Ah, scrolls, baby, scrolls. It scrolls all the way down. The Titanus War, part two. Uh, same team. Uh, oh, God. All Dude, right. It's a fake out, though. Like, come I know. On. All right, we're going to get into this. The Titan Titanus tells the, hero tells the heroes of his origin. Titanus' fake story, part one. Titanus is born on the Skrull homeworld. He is branded an outcast due to lack of shape-shifting abilities. He was used in the Super Skrull program. They tortured him with failed experiments and eventually succeeded. They started treating him even worse, and he escaped. Part 2. Titanus hid from his people, meaning them no harm whatsoever. But they came after him, never leaving him alone. They caught him and exiled him in the space with no food. He had to live off what he could find. He eventually made it to an alien world. Part 3. He landed on a peaceful planet and was greeted with open arm, arms, becoming close to the alien king. He was lies, lies. He's telling I'm, lies. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. He was treated like a son and was truly happy. One night, the king died in his sleep, and Titanus inherited the planet. He took good care of the deceased king's daughter. Good care, and attempted to spread the peace throughout the galaxy. Part four. He successfully spread peace throughout the galaxy until his planet was invaded by the warlike Trellians. He impressed the Trillian leader and was kept alive but weakened. He lost the will to live and longed to return to the Skrull homeworld. He would have died if not for Princess Amissa, who kept sneaking him food. They fell in love and kept it a secret until one day they were discovered and Titanus was severely beaten. He was sent into the desert to perish, but with a group of rebels, he attempted to overthrow the Trillian king. Amissa's father, 
uh, in revenge, the king poisoned the missa so she would never end up with Titanus. Titanus put her into stasis and traveled around the galaxy, finding no cure. Then he crashed on Earth. True story! Part 1. Titanus is born on the Skrull homeworld. He is branded an outcast due to lack of shape-shifting abilities. This is probably true, but he is also shown killing a Skrull soldier. <laughs> he was used in the Super Skrull program. They successfully gave him incredible powers. They treated him kindly, but he killed them all and left. As you do. Just a little do. Hellfire story? Exactly. Uh, part my origin, my origin, my villain origin story. Hern Rod Thruster. Hey, <laughs> part two, Titanus waged war on the Skrull. He destroyed their cities and crippled their people. One day, he broke into the hangar and left the world behind him. He ate weaker scrolls to survive. Oh, wow. This is your origin. <laughs> Eat the weak. Cannibal. Oh, turn into chicken so I can eat you. <sighs> they, they must they must chase like chicken or beef or something. Because remember, Reed Richards first appeared, turned some of them into cows. Yeah, you, you want to know why I could never be a, a why I stopped eating pork is because uh, if you ever listen to those cannibal stories, they say human flesh tastes like pork. And when you think about it, if you know scientifically, skins, uh, pig skin is actually closest to human skin. So yeah, I gave up pork a while ago. Well, we could, we could always ask Army Hammer. No, leave him alone. He's working two jobs in the Bahamas. Leave him alone. Hey, Mon. He he got cut off for his shenanigans. Well, that and the army, the hammer, the whole hammer family is about to lose their money, but that's a whole other thing. Oh my! No need for an F in the chat. Don't feel bad for them. I don't feel bad for rich people. No, don't feel bad for him. He may have no money, but his <clears throat> belly's full. Uh, part three. He landed on a war-hungry planet and was attacked and defeated by servants of the alien king. He was used as a gladiator and in retaliation killed the king in his sleep. He took over the planet and started to invade other planets. Part 4. He successfully conquered most of the galaxy until he attempted to invade the Trellian world and his army was wiped out. He made a deal with the Trellian king and was treated like a member of the royal family. He fell in love with Amissa, but she did not return the love. One day he nearly killed the king who had fled into the wilderness. The king returned and overthrew Titanus. He kidnapped Amissa and put her in the stasis. He escaped the Trellians and crashed on Earth. You came to the wrong planet, buddy. Now, Doctor Strange senses he is lying, and Wolverine can smell that he is lying. Doctor Strange says that he should examine Amissa as he is a doctor. Spider-Man then gives a speech about why they shouldn't help Titanus, and the group charges at Titanus. So, Wolverine, what do lies smell like? Yep. Bull, you know bull. how they say bull, bull pocky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. But yeah, I I mean, that was kind of interesting when he's telling this story where it's like they sh like they would show the lie, then they'd show the truth, lie, yeah. truth. It's just like. I don't think that was necessary, but anything to pad out the runtime. How do you tell if a scroll is lying? His lips are moving. <laughs> oh, but shout out to the Marvel team up where Spider-Man meets Invincible, which is what, like the next issue? Yes, which we covered. Yes. Yeah. Scroll way down. Yes. Or go to uh, the YouTube channel. Yes. All our shows have their own playlist. So. I still like that cover. What? The second one or? Yeah. The, the Marvel team up with the Invincible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. That is good. I've been kind of reading through these lately. Uh, what's that one with freaking um, Blade and Punisher? That one's good too. I, think I don't know like if I read that eight. one. Yeah, but I did. Eight. I read these, and of course we. That's did the Kirkman original. too. So you know. I skipped to the end and read the last issue because there was Titanus stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. But man, some of these issues, man, he gets like you know he you, you could tell Mister Invincible, man, he's thinking they get a little bloody. <laughs> I know. I, you know me. I for one appreciate it. Oh yeah, I, I know. You love. You. Although I didn't think Invincible was as bloody as it could be. None of the Capodiums. I like you know compared to the TV show. Honestly, I'm like, oh. Do they feel they had to up it for the TV show? I think they did. Well, listen here. Isn't it interesting how you know basically Jeff Bezos is literally the the real life Lex Luthor, but he's always doing TV shows about like how bad Superman is. I'm just saying 
isn't that interesting? It the is. The boys, invincible. I, I'm just saying. I'm starting to wonder about Bezos. He's I, the, the Rockets worried me, but his propaganda on Amazon Prime. Keep an eye on that. Don't let him near any funny colored rocks, kid. <laughs> now, if he's really a redhead that shaved his head, then we really have to worry. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So, should we get to the last one? Let's do it. After after an issue of monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> my God. I didn't think. That, that's been a long time since the, like I've read a comic book where it's like a monologue. Like a monologue that long. Seriously. That's like some 70s type stuff. That's I don't know, man. That wasn't uh seventies monologuing. That was uh No, that was Bendis level <laughs> Oh yeah, and whole issue of monologuing. That's that's pure Bendis. That's a... I don't think Bendis has ever done it, but I bet you he side and goes, You son of a bitch. Although it's to, it's again, this is two thousand five. Bendis is at the height of his powers, so Yes. Yeah. Nowhere to go but down. <laughs> Dark powers. Hope it's going somewhere nice. No, he didn't go down after this. I mean, I, I'd say, what was the pinnacle? Maybe Secret Invasion? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that one. No, I say the pinnacle was when he made uh, freaking Jessica Jones the house mom for the Avengers. That pissed me off to no end. And I was, oh, no, no, I'm, no. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, he was climbing, climbing. New Avengers. He got to Secret Invasion. I mean, they spun, you know, they spun, Nor they made Norman the new Lex out of that one. It's just like, yeah. that's like, Enough's enough. Then he got Moon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to put him on trial and have Ray be the freaking prosecutor. <laughs> Who's going to do We have to find somebody that's going to defend him, though. Maybe Charlie, because Charlie will defend anything, even if he don't believe in it. <laughs> He's an avalanche chaser! That's a good defense attorney. The guy don't even, you know, you don't have to believe the guy's innocent. You just got to give him, you know. So is that Cape old... 300? Instead of the, is that Capes 300? Hmm. Is that enough time to prepare? <gasps> oh my God. How awesome. Would... No, and every we... hundred ish, every hundred episodes from there, we just put a different person on trial, like Frank Miller. That or every 50. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, I'll email Bendis. And of course we'll never hear back. It'll be like, well. You're being you tried didn't... for your crimes against comic books. <laughs> he didn't answer our warrant. So we'll try him in absentia. <laughs> Oh my God! You know, oh my God! The line's gonna, the line's gonna form if I say, "Oh, hey, we're putting Bendis on trial. Who wants to present evidence?" Oh. Just put it on the internet. Just tweet it. Oh my God! I'll need someone twenty four seven answering the email. Holy! I we'll have to be selective. I'll we'll have to definitely have a podcast though. <laughs> like, what's your group? What's your group? It's against Michael Brian Bendis. I just, oh no, just go class action that. lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I might have to make a commercial and just put it on up on YouTube. Oh, have you been have you been mentally uh hurt by Mar Mr. the works of Mr. Brian Michael Bendis? <laughs> Call this number. <laughs> we're we're sad. we're forming a class action lawsuit. <laughs> were you ever in a comic shop between the years 2000 and 2010? <laughs> No, no, no. We have to include Superman. So. Okay, were you in a comic shop between 2000 and 2018? <laughs> that you may, you just, you may be you entitled may, for financial compensation. You may be entitled to some justice. <laughs> oh, leave a voicemail. Tell us, tell us where Michael Bryant, Michael Bryant been just hurt you. <laughs> no, if you know, if we do this right, we could probably sell tickets to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on Patreon, pay per view, Patreon. <laughs> Either page or oh my god, even if oh jeez. I would do it for the press. Be like, man, we'll give the money to charity. I don't care. We're just order in the court. I know what project I'm having Lilith to work on during her vacation. Oh no, that's gonna be another year long project. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be I don't know if we'll be able, we only have like 25 weeks to plan this out if we do 300. <laughs> Is six months long enough? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> All right. Let's get to this last issue. The Titanus War, part three. Again, same team. Spider-Man is just there to because it's a team up book. Like he is not doing nothing. Yeah, no, he's just he's the, you know, 
He's the headline. He's just the face, yeah. Uh, oh, but Quasar's in this one, right? Yes! Did you guys cover this one tangentially? No, I didn't even know about that. This was a happy accident. I was like, yeah, buddy. I was like, it's Phil recycling content. No, 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 no. no. I, I don't know if Will ever knew about it, but no, no, no. Yeah, we didn't get to a lot of the, like, the stuff. Well, I mean, the, they, the they, they show up pretty much in the third act on the Helicarrier, but yeah. yeah. Spoilers, sorry. I mean, we mostly got the like, Quasar's you know, ongoing and like the Avengers issues at that time. Yeah, I, I thought it's at thought towards the end you guys were literally like scraping every appearance or something like that nah we just did like specials on like squadron and supreme and stuff because they showed up a lot in the okay. series bruce banner tries to save civilians from the superheroes ongoing battle with titanus he can barely think straight yet cannot turn into the hulk as the army arrives he witnesses a family get crushed by falling debris what is this batman which allows him to turn into the hulk <laughs> sorry ray <laughs> Oh, you know the scene I'm talking about. Batman, my favorite character. Mm. Oh my god, you know how petty, you know how petty I am. Did you see the announcement today on? Uh, well, I saw it on Facebook. I don't know how how far it spread, but I guess uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a semi regular thing. I don't think it's gonna be like a whole weekly thing or monthly thing or anything. But uh, I guess Ray Ru- Ray Russell and Justin, our patrons, so join the Patreon elite. Are doing some kind of semi regular uh, predator podcast. Oh, cool! Ray Ray has been slobbering at the. Uh, but know. there's a Batman versus Predator comic book. Is he going to cover that? A two little hellfire. The first thing I put, I, all I commented was yes, and I put a uh, cover of Batman versus Predator. <laughs> if you need a copy, Ray, I've got a signed one. Oh, you! Oh, come on, Ray. Oh. Justin Russell, you know you can't twist that knife clean enough you know you need me and Lo- me and Lo- me and lothon you know the host of uh we are the night the batman, the podcast, batman podcast, podcast where vengeance has been reborn what when you discover that sorry ray <laughs> yeah. batman. poor ray he's like i'm just i'm just character. listening to a spider-man podcast all, ha- all happy go lucky and boom can't batman. Uh, can't have any pop culture loves can you ray <laughs> batman my favorite character all of a sudden you're gonna say by five o'clock today, you're gonna see. Hey, forget about the predator. We're gonna do some Tigra, maybe some Hercules. <laughs> Get ready for that Wonder Man. <laughs> oh, hey, if I don't talk to, you, oh yeah, because well, next issue, next episode is gonna be the Sausage Fest, and then uh, he's gonna be joining us on that two part Wonder yeah. Man thing. He's so. like, well, that was just a taste. We're gonna do a deep dive into every issue from wonder man and all his guest appearances i'm, I'm gonna have so much opportunity to say so when you get into those batman versus predator issues man <laughs> it's like just keep writing in hey man we're, we're still waiting on that batman versus predator what's up, what's up or if he or if he does it or you know if he does that in his plugs i'll be like <coughs> batman versus predator <laughs> exactly all right so yeah bruce banner gets mad when he sees some pe- bunch of people get killed <laughs> Uh, the Hulk attacks Titanus whilst the other heroes decide that they should distract Titanus whilst Doctor Strange and Nova search for Titanus' ship. As Titanus... <laughs> I bet. hey Come along, Richard Ryder. <laughs> as, uh, as Titanus sends Hulk flying, Wolverine attacks, hoping to have an advantage whilst the Hulk is battling, but it is too late. Titanus defeats him. He took him a with... bow to the chest. Hey, better than the face, I guess. <laughs> Tell us a little hellfire, which is worse. <laughs> Not in the face. Uh, uh, but yeah, but Titanus defeats him with a severe blow to the chest. Spider Man webs Titanus's feet together. Ah, oh, I tied his shoelaces together. Whilst Miss Marvel and She Hulk knock him over, She Hulk advances on Titanus alone, but he breaks her arm. See, I told you, man. Kirkman, man, getting brutal here. Spider-Man blinds Titanus with webbing. As <laughs> it's like his go-to move, man. Not in the face. Uh, when Titanus. Well, Mary Jane won't let him do it, so you know he's got to get it out somewhere. Well, he does it here, and then he does it to like Otto and Jameson. Yeah. Jameson had it coming. Though, but... Oh, oh, that's symbolic, man. He, yeah, he sprays Jameson in the face with that webbing. Yeah. Literally hit him in the face with that web sack. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you hit him right in the face with that sack. It's wintering time. 
Uh, Spider-Man blinds Titan, uh, but when Titanus removes it and attempts to punch Spider-Man, he discovers Spider-Man has webbed borders to his hands as one hits him full on. He then uses the one attached to his other hand to his advantage. He crushes Spider-Man and Miss Marvel as he turns towards She-Hulk. Doctor Strange and Nova return with Amissa, who says his story is a lie and that she hates him. The grief causes Titanus to crush his own head. <sighs> what an F boy. Later on the helicarrier, Nick Fury arranges for Quasar. Yes. Uh, to take Amissa home. Uh Hey, boys, you look at the party. I love the party. Hope it's going somewhere nice. Hey, oh, no. Uh... Hope it's going somewhere nice. They aren't even attempting to enter our orifices. Uh, he flies off into space. Whilst <laughs> someone loves whilst in this. Uh, I know. I was about to say, somebody really loves that freaking word, whoever did this one. Wolverine and Spider Man pay a visit to. Iron Maniac, who who was the first to mention Titanus. <sighs> yeah, it's like an alternate version of Tony Stark. Yeah, I was going to say Anthony Stark from what, Earth uh, 5012? I, think. I forget, yeah. Meanwhile, in space, Amissa attacks Quasar and flies off alone. Iron Maniac tells the heroes of how things went on his world. Iron Maniac's version of events. On his Earth, the Avengers never disbanded. So when Titanus landed, the Vision detected him immediately and had no reason to believe his story was a lie. As soon as the Avengers reached the Trillian world, Titanus turned on them and killed Wasp. Not Wasp! No, Not no. Wasp. They believe he had also killed Hank Pym. And this... he did the world a favor. Oh, damn, but this was not so. Amessa revealed that Titanus was supposed to lure them to their world. It took the reserve Avengers. Oh, God. Five years to find them, and another so five. What, what is that, Midwest? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, in the nineties, I know they were. No, like, I know they had an auxiliary. Yeah. auxiliary member You're only allowed certain, a certain number, and then you had backups and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it took the Reserve Avengers five years to find them, and another five for the heroes of Earth to beat them badly enough for them to stop attacking. Back in the room, Iron Maniac then reveals that he could not believe anything could kill Titanus. We then see in Japan two scientists examining his body. They mention Doctor Strange is using magic to rebuild Tokyo and that Titanus' head is growing back. Oh, no! <laughs> but, uh... Uh, you're going to have to read uh, 14 on your own, kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, well, again, we did it because that's the invincible issue. Cause... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it takes a while, I think, to get back to this Titanus stuff. Maybe we'll get there eventually, but not this year. So, thoughts, though? Um, no tea, no shade. This did not need to be three issues. This did not need to be stretched out this bad. But I do like the ending. I love when Nick Fury shows up, especially the Helicarrier. The Helicarrier entrance is always iconic, whether it's in a comic book or movie. That is the moment we are always waiting for. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that's my favorite part, honestly. And again, you don't think Kirkman stuff is that violent. A dude crushed his own head. <laughs> I, look, I tell you, I'm desensitized. As a child of the 90s, where movies that would have been rated R turned into PG-13, I am very much desensitized. I know you're not used to seeing men crush their own heads, Little Hellfire, but come on. <laughs> I'm just like all all the stuff that I've watched as a child, violent <laughs> a horror movie, slasher, thriller movies. Yeah, I this this does not phase me. She's like, oh yeah, he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, okay. I forget which uh which writer was asking us if I if I thought something. I was like, I am not the one to ask for that. Might have been DG, might have not been, but it was somebody. I was like, yeah, I am not the person to ask that question because I don't think it is at all. I mean, out, outside of like ripping somebody's spine out of their mouth, a la Mortal Kombat, like was it DG? I, I like, think it might have been DG. I don't know what issue we were talking about, but I remember. I can't remember either, but ah, oh, Surgeon General, feel good tale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I wish more comic books were like this. But it was, I think, yeah, it had to be DG because I don't think actually for all the big guns and pouches in the 90s, it actually wasn't a lot of violence, violence necessarily. Yeah. 
it was just a little bit more adult situation, shall we say. Things got a little sexier. Boy, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we, we, but we can contribute that to Burn, John Burn, probably. Burn. At the late 80s, you know. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think it was okay, but it did not need to have to be three issues. Obviously, they were doing that for the cover. They thought, hey, we should do a cool cover. What's the story? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Because again, it's it's the middle aughts, you know, it's 2005. Uh, com- comics are struggling with their storytelling at this point. It's we're we're almost to the 2010s where we get a little bit of a, a resurgence and resiliency yeah. in storytelling. But yeah, the first like, again, it's after the post bank 9/11. Or- uh, yeah, post 9/11, it is yeah. bad storytelling. People are oh. either overly patriotic or just absolutely meandering at that point. And again, it's it's after the bankruptcy, but it's before Disney swoops in, so it's kind of like it's real bad time for Marvel. <laughs> It's kind of like, hey, okay, yeah, go ahead, throw it at the wall. Let's see if like it literally before this arc, we're doing Blade versus Punisher because Blade was yeah. the best. Well, Blade and Punisher were the only things out yeah. there movie wise. Think again, about that, Blade again, and it, Punisher. Well, Blade was a good two movies, and, and then the third one is yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and Punisher, uh, Punisher Warzone. I need to sue somebody for that because I am traumatized from that movie. <laughs> That was so utterly bad. I'd rather watch the video game, uh, you know, the little I, story. I think I might have that in there on Blu-ray. I think I watched it once on Blu-ray and never touched it again. As you should. I was going to say, not even watch it. I, I don't think I've touched the case. It's sitting in the cabinet, just sitting there. <laughs> oh, I was thinking I should. Oh, I was thinking I should try to like sell some of the ones like I never watched. That could be one of them. <laughs> Come on, a dollar. Come on. I, I would. I, you know what? Honestly, um, I was at the. What is it? What is it called? Um, not Family Dollar. It's the one that sells furniture. Um. Oh dang it! Big Lots. Yes. And I bought like like two years ago. I bought the third Blade on literally Blu-ray for fifty cents during Christmas time. Really? Yeah. Oh my god! If you god. wait till Christmas, those blu- those Blu-rays, not just not DVD, Blu-rays go crazy. Oh yeah, or sometimes even like Black Fridays. Sometimes yeah, they'll put yeah. some of those on. They have big sales on those. I'm, I never I got saw- the Flash original series on DVD at Walmart for two dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say season I think, one. I think Tyler got some of those CW ones on real cheap on a Black Friday. Yeah, I know I got Arrow season five real cheap when it premiered. I'm not lying. It, no, season it had to be season four. Yeah, I don't know if those sell because like, was it like, is it like, it might be Walmart, it might even be Target too. Like they don't even like stock like the Blu-rays of them. You might get like a DV, even just like DVD. No, I've pop- I found the Blu-rays there in my Walmart. Uh, okay. Maybe it's a regional thing. Maybe I know I know a lot of Walmarts only stock things that sell in the area. That's what I was gonna say. They might not be selling because that's area. the only reason to buy the Arrow. Uh, you because if you don't, if you buy the DVDs, you don't get the commentary and behind yeah, the scenes stuff. Exactly. And would... plus, if you have like the whole collection there, I remember they actually had to re-release. I forget which season it was because they didn't put it in the DV the Blu-ray like steel case, and all the other ones were in steel case, and they ended up re-releasing it because the fans were like, "What the hell? Put it in the steel case so it matches everything else." And they literally ended up doing that like yeah. two years later. So. Yeah, I got to get the Blu-ray, so I usually pick it up at Best Buy. So, <laughs> and, and this is this is really funny. I actually didn't own any of the um, Supernatural DVDs because I was literally waiting for the series collection, right? So I was no, I didn't. I had a, like no, I had like the anime because that because you can't find that anywhere. It's like season one anime. That was the only supernatural like that i had and then I, I i it was always on tnt or you know like yeah. netflix at the time so i never needed it and then when it came out i finally got it and i was just like ah oh, yes did they One put a whole set did they, yeah, put, they a- put the whole collection out it's only like 250 dollars whereas i paid 150 for the limited edition smallville complete series which i already had on, like i have yeah. multiple copies i have it on vhs i have it on dvd i have it on blu-ray and i have the pl- complete collection with the newspaper and everything and the yearbook and all that yeah, yeah i have a lot of smallville stuff in my house <laughs> a lot i was gonna say i have every season of smallville but yeah that's not bad for supernatural considering it's what 15 seasons i know well, yeah two seasons three seasons are technically shortened but yeah Ah, uh, okay but it's a big ass box huh yeah it's huge 
<laughs> but yeah, I just always find that really fascinating what they decide, how they decide to put out in the formats. I yeah. remember DVDs used to have commentary and then they started doing Blu-ray and only the Blu-rays got commentary. So I know. Uh, I, I keep thinking I, I might wait and uh, maybe uh, when they put out Better Call Saul, the whole complete series. Maybe I want it with the Breaking Bad, though. Like, yeah. I need it as like the complete, because honestly. You think they'll put it together or do you just. I think they'll do a limited th- edition fan collection, definitely, with both of them eventually. Probably I'm won't a- be in the next three years, but probably like the next five to seven yeah. years, they'll do it. That might be worth it. Yeah, especially. Whenever since, it's yeah. like done, being able for like streaming availability on Yeah, AM- AMC, yeah. Plus, or whatever, yeah. Then that's when I'll do it. Damn it. I don't want to let you go, Lil Hellfire. <laughs> we got a whole other podcast to do. It's I okay. know. But and I'm then we looking. have all next week. It's okay. <laughs> oh. Shh, playing to the audience. No, I don't want to let you go. Oh, you can edit that out then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, um, dang it. You made me forget what I was going to say. <laughs> Never mind. Not important. Spider Man, Blu rays, what? <laughs> Oh yeah, I you know I I not that I've ever looked, but um, do they have like that original '90s Spider-Man series on on DVD or anything? Uh, probably I... not because it's on Disney Plus now, right? Yeah, it is. So yeah, I don't um yeah I never looked. Maybe I'll I've never this. thought about it. I yeah. I've seen all those episodes so much, like because <laughs> that's all we had, and all they did was play reruns after they stopped making new episodes. I don't think I actually need to watch it, but it would be nice to have in the collection with my Spider-Man movies. I was gonna say, you, I bet. Are you any probably... of the cartoons, Spider-Man cartoons, available? Um, I don't know. Well, I looked up that. Uh, bu- 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 I don't know if they actually have like. The whole that ninety because X Men has they have it for X Men ninety two. Yeah. I've seen it. I'm looking on Amazon. I'm not seeing a complete collection, but they'll have like collections of episodes. It looks like like they have you know oh like, like they used to do for Justice League, the Venom Saga, Daredevil vs Spider Man. I know they have the X Men, but saga. they're DVD, so they might have ne- they might have never even put it out on Blu Ray. Yeah, like no, said, they, like, they probably would have never put it on. Especially now, it's on Disney. Enough. It's on yeah. Disney Plus now, so. Yeah, I think well, they, something to petition for. <laughs> yeah, uh, the only one you might get the whole collection of is like that spectacular Spider-Man from a few years ago. I did. You know what? I never watched that whole thing. I is that like the one it. that Deadpool shows up? Is that the one? No, 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 no. Um, there's so they've been so many, and none of them have been that yeah. good. Yeah, there was a few on Disney. It was like the last one before they went. Oh, all, on Disney like, XD. Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The spectacular Spider-Man was that like 2007. It's the one with like the the like real i don't like the animation it's really almost looks juvenile <laughs> speaking of juvenile i love uh what is that amazing spidey friends or whatever i have all the plushes but i've never seen an episode oh the uh <laughs> on uh yeah what is that, disney jr whatever it comes disney from? jr i always see all the merch and i'm like it's so cute because they have like miles gwen and peter and they're all like I, the same age and like little chibi for like i have all the plushies <laughs> it's so son, sad son of a bitch like luca aged out like Right before, as that was, but aged out. Yeah, and we stopped watching it right before that started. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was like, I have to merch. I've never seen an episode. I feel like such a poser. <laughs> now I have to go find it and watch at least one episode. <laughs> and all my all my freaking god kids are like high school. Oh, god. yeah, they're high school I, now. I mean, again, it's like all the shows on there are for like you know like preschool kindergarten like young and i was like well yeah i'm like we i mean if i did but, ever have another guy kid like hey bestie we, we need another baby um i want them to watch uh like gracie's corner <laughs> not yeah. coco melon or anything like that so but no the only good thing about disney jr i remember is uh since it is for little kids like they don't put commercials in the shows they you know they save all the show all the commercials oh, for like, before and after the shows. Nice. yeah so so that's the only that's the only good thing about that is like yeah you watch a, one of those little kid shows they don't put commercials in the middle like, oh, Nick Junior answer yourself <laughs> <laughs> answer for yourself <laughs> I don't know Nick Junior might do that too but I I think I vaguely recall um cuz I was checking out new new blues clues for content for TikTok yeah. and uh yeah I think they had a commercial <laughs> so Yeah I was going to say I think like even like the regular Disney channels have like commercials but yeah the Disney Juniors like for the little kids so I think that's regulation and stuff Probably and again it's like Cuz I know I don't think the YouTube kids can have commercials until after they can't have like a mid mid credit roll yeah. or whatever on it And again if you're like you know if you're 
four or five year olds or you know six year, you know you want to hold their attention too yeah definitely although when we were kids Jim and the hologram. I mean, well, our 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 TV shows were commercials for the toys. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little different. Anywho, enough rant rant pants. <laughs> I'm gonna stay through the commercial. Want to see what that damn Megatron's up to? <laughs> All right. So yeah, kids. Again, we're losing Lil Hellfire for five weeks here. So yes. Next week will be your regularly scheduled uh, Sausage Fest uh, with uh, Ray and Dave. We'll be talking uh, some more Ben Riley from Sensational Spider-Man number 6, Amazing Spider-Man 413, and Daredevil 354. Uh, and then... That's a lot of meat. hey That's right. And as I said, then uh, for three of the four weeks of September, Charlie Esser's taking over. Uh, so, yes, in two weeks... Uh, Marvel so team you're doing up. some Superior Plus, I assume. Yes, the one week will be Superior Spider-Man 1 through 3. The uh, uh, One of the other weeks is Marvel Team Up 121 and Amazing Spider-Man 263 and 266. Ooh, which so is close. Basi- which is basically Frogman, and I believe one of those is Spectacular Spider-Kid. So. Oh, well, it sounds like some different fresh fun content. I'm pandering to my people. audience. I'm pandering to the Charlie Esther. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, you're going to get something to, you know, not something you get on a Phil and Lil uh <laughs> dick joke episode yeah you know poor phil won't be able to sell the proper dick joke for weeks <laughs> <laughs> what uh nothing nothing froggy style although the third week of september we will be joined by noel tate and maybe russell to cover marvel team up 96 uh spider-man Wait! howard and duck here <laughs> who has how these? dare you do that episode when i'm not around how Dare you? That's the only episode no one agreed to do. I'm like, oh my god! How dare you stab me in the back like that, no We oh, I was gonna say we could do it again. Or if you want to send feedback, oh, little send feedback. Yeah, I'm gonna try to send feedback for. Well, I, I couldn't for the one that you already uh, have in the can, but all the other ones I'm gonna yeah, do yeah. my very best. Okay. Again, look at the ca- if again, unless you want me to let you know, you have access to the calendar. I have the list and I have the calendar, yes. Look at the calendar. <sighs> All right, kids. So yeah, lots coming up. So send us your thoughts, <laughs> especially on uh September. I want to hear what people like and uh <sighs> all the thoughts. So email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And stay tuned, kids. Episode 200 is coming in October. What will we? Where will it be? <laughs> Believe it or not, capes and lunatics sidekicks. Uh, so, yes. Uh, you can find Ultimate Spidercast on Face. You can also contact us there on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, join the Web of Spider-Man Facebook fan group now at 3.9K members. Uh, so give us a little bump so we can get to 4,000. And find all the Marvel and DC uh, social media we have. Uh, link to the YouTube channel. Uh, again, everything we do gets a, a video, including all the interviews and specials everything all of september will be there so uh you want to see some pasty uh pasty gentlemen yes uh subscribe to the youtube channel uh smash that subscribe button so make it sound it. so appetizing what make it sound so appetizing oh my <laughs> you can't promise charlie esser's nipples but uh, there better be no nipples on my gosh darn ultimate spider cast. It's not a family-friendly show. Not for free. You got to pay. And speaking of paying, yes, yeah, so please subscribe to the Patreon. Again, we're out here selling, trying to sell as many pictures to Jameson as we can. Uh, paying for but I think of... he's on to us. Hey, oh, <laughs> give it to him in the face. Uh, so, yeah, so every little bit helps to three to five dollars uh, to the patreon gives you exclusive access to early access to creator interviews including the monthly chichester chats i got the good mic out for you guys always a good time always an informative time on the uh ins and outs of uh the comic book business and of course because she loves pain superhero movie brackets we <laughs> we will find the worst superhero movie even if it kills phil and it, and it might <laughs> Uh, so yes, the August episode will be, uh, 
League of Extraordinary Gentlemen versus uh, Sin City 2. A team to kill for. And if that's not enough, pick up yourself up some Capes and Lunatics and Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks merch. Find it all at linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. Lilith Hellfire, where can people uh, talk to you? Oh, if you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs, feel free to find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 69. And of course, on TikTok, making all the comments and none of the content at Lilith Hellfire 69. Either do the six or do the nine. If you want a good villain monologue, follow us on social media. Exactly. If you want to put your ribs pants on, follow me. Come, come, come. <sighs> Let me get a ride on your alligator back, bro. I don't do Twinkies or toaster strudels, so somebody's muffins getting buttered. That ain't my business. <sighs> All right, kids. You have enough drops to pretend like I'm still here. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. I should have just. I should have just did a whole all September myself and just <laughs> threw in drops. All right, kids. Thank you for joining us again. Little returns. For little returns in October. But until then, you have a bunch of old men talking comics. So, swing on back. Flip, Are you flip, regularly, flip. <laughs> regularly scheduled Ben Rowley next week? But until then, swing on back. Flip, flip, flip in the face. Take that, Jameson. Yeah, going out.